Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. This program is brought to you by a hotel for family fun all over the world. Holiday Inn. And... This program is brought to you by Toyota. All these people want to know, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? And one of these people could find her. Naveen Sika. Nick Barron. Jeff Hogan. Today's episode, The Taste of the Lifted Mind. And this man is special agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee. You guys, you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Had a lot of work to do today. Let's get the chief up there. Chief, you there? I'm here, Greg. Let's go. All right, detectives. Carmen San Diego's multitude of misbegotten mutants has struck again. This time, they did their double dealing in the desert of Peru. The Nazca lines, drawings of animals and geometric figures ranging up to 1,000 feet in size, were scratched into the ground nearly 2,000 years ago. But this morning, top grunge, that smell on wheels, belched into a hot air balloon, blew over the lines and lifted them right off the desert floor, leaving the Peruvian Nazca poor. Here's the lowdown on top grunge. He's a guy who grooms with grime and gets his cologne from toxic wake dump sites. Your mission, Gumshoes. Put the grab on the grunge. Deliver the desert lines back to Nazca, and then capture Carmen San Diego. Greg. Thanks, Chief. Okay, Gumshoes, what we're going to do is start you off with 50 acne crime bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more crime bucks. And the two of you with the highest scores at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. Okay? Chief, let's go. Gumshoes, Acme StenchNet has tracked top grunge to an independent state of the British Commonwealth known as a spice island, this tiny spot of land produces about one-third of the world's nutmeg. Now, the United States invaded this Caribbean paradise in 1983 after its prime minister was murdered. Greg. Thanks, Chief. Okay, Gumshoes, to what island did Top Grunge take the lines? Was it Grenada, Jamaica, or Aruba? Remember the clues that we heard? Independent state of the British Commonwealth, known as a Spice Island, and U.S. invasion of 1983. Everybody's ready? Naveen, we'll start with you. What do you say? I said Grenada. Grenada. Nick, what do you say? I said Jamaica. Jamaica. Jeff, how about you? I picked Aruba. Aruba. The answer we're looking for is Grenada. Nice job, Naveen. Okay, so at the end of the first one, Naveen has 60, Nick and Jeff both have 50. Let's take a little break now and find out a little bit more about your detective, shall we? Uh, Naveen, you're a soccer player. Uh, yes, that's correct. What position do you play? I play left wing. And uh, how's the team doing? It's doing okay. We came in third place this year. Okay, nice to have you on the case. Welcome, Naveen, everybody. <laughs> Nick, what do you like to do in your spare time? In the winter, I like to ski, and in the summer, I like to fish with my friends. Cool. Any pr uh, career plans for you? I like to be a doctor. Doctor? Why do you want to be a doctor? Well, I'd like to help other people and learn new things about science. Good for you. Nice to have you on the show. Good. Jeff is a collector. What do you collect, Jeff? Matchbox cars. Really? How many do you have? About 275. And uh, what do you like to do with those matchbox cars? I like cars? to uh, build small like parking garages and ramps and roads, and then I drive them around on it. That's exactly what I used to do. I love this. Okay, good. Welcome, Jeff, to the show, if you will, please. Okay, guys, time for us to now get back onto the case. Our uh, next informant from Africa has just sent us a, a, a package. And here it is right here, Overhead Express Mail. Let's find out what it says. Oh, look at this. Get out of here. On the front it says, uh, warning, don protective mask and gloves before opening. Now oh, we haven't got time for that, really. Let's just go ahead and open it up. I love that. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. Oh. Oh, guys. Audience, look at this. It's Top Grunge's uh, grungy T-shirt. Oh, gosh. <coughs> Wait a second. <coughs> There's a note on it. Ooh, let me try to read it. <coughs> it says, search the, the country that contains nearly half of the <coughs> African forest. 
ask the pygmy people to help you take track grunge. They're this nation, nation's oldest inhabitants, <coughs> and they're excellent hunters. One more thing, I found this t-shirt at Cahuzzi Biega Park. <coughs> the gorillas <coughs> who lived there were <coughs> trying to bury it. <coughs> I think we should do the same thing. <coughs> you know when you get that thing in there and you can't hardly... <coughs> okay, guys, name the country. Is it Rwanda, Zaire, <coughs> or Sudan? Boy, that stays with you. Nearly half the African forest is there. Pygmy people and Kahuzi Biega. <laughs> Everybody's ready. Naveen, what do you say? I said Zaire. Zaire. What do you think, Nick? I said Zaire also. Zaire. Jeff, what do you say? I said Zaire. 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 The answer we're looking for is Zaire. Nice job, you guys. Okay, so that means Naveen, you have 70. Nick, you have 60. Jeff, you have 60. Nice job, everybody. Now, to help us try to track down Top Grunge, let's go to the World Band Radio. Сейчас последние известия в белорусской столице. Гости в гостинице Планета сказали, что помещение страшно пахнуло странными запахами с номера мистера Топ Грунжа. Миллионеры, которые искают мистера Грунжа, думают, что он едет на литовскую границу. На прошлой неделе Горький парк пахнул тем же самым запахом. Okay, Gumshoes, name the city. Is it Minsk, Kiev, or Riga? Remember the clues that we heard? Belarusian capital, Lithuanian border. Everybody's got an answer. Naveen, what do you say? I said Kiev. Kiev. What do you think, Nick? I said Kiev also. Kiev. Jeff? I said Minsk. Minsk. The answer we're looking for is Minsk. Nice job. Jeff, you got it. Okay. So, Naveen, you have 70. Nick, you have 60. Jeff, you have 70. Very close round here, guys. That's what we need to do. That's, that means one thing, it's time for the lightning round. I'm going to give you a chance now to try to pick up some extra crime bucks. What's going to happen is, I have three questions here. Each one of them is worth five Acme crime bucks. The first one of you to answer any of these questions correctly, I'll give you that extra five crime bucks. So, hands on the buzzers, please. Listen closely, here we go. The bald eagle symbolizes the United States. What animal symbolizes the Soviet Union? Is it the bear, the lion, or the Arctic seal? Naveen. The bear. The bear's right. Nice job. Five more for you. Okay, the music, the music you're hearing is from the Christmas time ballet called The Nutcracker. Listen closely and, then, and name the Russian composer who wrote it. Was he Bach, Brahms, or Tchaikovsky? Nick. Tchaikovsky? Tchaikovsky's right. Yeah. <laughs> loud. Question three. In Moscow, if you step into gum, you won't have to pull a sticky gob off your foot. Is gum Moscow's biggest museum? candy store or department store? Jeff? A department store. Department store's right. Nice job, Jeff. Okay. So that means at the end of three and a lightning round, Naveen has 75, Nick has 65, and Jeff has 75. Very close round, you guys. Hey, Greg? Yes, he. Greg, in my office right away. Okay, I'll be right there. All you right. guys hang here? I'll be right back. <laughs> it's time for my daily chit-chat with the chief. The chief. All right, Greg. You still haven't captured Carmen San Diego, and I don't want to put any pressure on you, but... You're upsetting the fabric of the universe. I, I'm sorry, what? Greg, some things are meant to be. Grass is meant to be green. Water is meant to be wet. Carmen San Diego is meant to be in jail. Now, she's still on the loose out there, and, well, things are starting to go haywire. Well, how do you mean, Chief? All right, I'll show you. All right. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I mean, it's weird, but it's cool. Yeah, well, it's, that uh... sort of thing has been happening to me all day long, and it's driving me crazy. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, tell you what, uh, I know Dean, this is really kind of weird, uh, well, it's kind of creepy. Yeah, well, just don't turn on the lamp. What's the matter with the lamp? No! <laughs> we have got to get the gumshoes to capture Carmen San Diego so we can stop all of this nonsense! Oh. Sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, How can we do that? Uh, I have it. Uh, what we could do is offer the gumshoes a trip to anywhere in the lower 48 states to the one who catches Carmen San Diego. Huh? Well, that could do it. And then everything would go back to normal. Oh, 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 go away. Go away. 
Okay, guys, remember, we're still looking for top grunge and the lines. A lot of work to do. Fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just provided a, a recording of a phone conversation between top grunge and Carmen Sandiego. Watch. Those Acme agents have found me again. No wonder, Grunge. You smell like yesterday's garbage. Now go to the most remote capital in Europe. It's in a valley surrounded by Pyrenees Mountains. Uh, gee, Carmen, you're always sending me to remote places. <laughs> How will I get there? A henchman who speaks Catalan will take you. Just look for a guy in a gas mask. Uh, a gas mask? Carmen, uh, is the place polluted? No. Your breath is polluted. Now get moving. Okay, Gumshoes, name the capital city. Is it Luxembourg, Andorra, or Zurich? Remember the clues that we heard? Most remote, remote capital in Europe and speaking Catalan. Okay, Naveen, what do you say? I said Andorra. Andorra. What do you think, Nick? I said Andorra also. Andorra. Jeff? I said Huey. Zurich. The answer we're looking for is Andorra. Nice job, Naveen and Nick. Okay, so that means Naveen, you have 85, Nick, you have 75, Jeff, you have 75. Our next clue is coming to us from Acme Make Believe Net. Watch. Well, Top Grunge went to Lancaster County. It's known for its large Amish and Mennonite population. Those are religious groups that believe in living a very simple life, like me. They don't drive cars or use electricity. Top Grunge caused quite a commotion when he roared up from Harrisburg, and he was a big problem around the shoe fly pie. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, Henrietta, please don't give it away. Wish you well. Meow, meow. Thanks a lot, neighbors. Okay, guys, name the state. Is it Pennsylvania, Indiana, or Mississippi? Looks like everybody's ready. Naveen, we'll start with you. What do you say? I said Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Nick. I said Pennsylvania Pennsylvania, also. Jeff. Man, but you can't just go in your pocket and take out that $90. Whoa, greasy felon. I know what state he's in. Greasy felon. Next to Wisconsin. Okay, Gumshoes, name the state. Is it South Dakota, Illinois, or Michigan? Remember the clues that we heard from Rockapella, next to Wisconsin, Upper Peninsula, and Sault Ste. Marie. Naveen's ready, so is Nick. Nick's changing his mind, though. He's thinking about it. Gotta hurry, guys. Jess, ready? Come on, Nick. We need an answer quick. There you go, dude. Go, Naveen. What do you say? I said Illinois. Illinois. What do you think, Nick? I said Illinois also. Illinois. Jeff, what do you say? I said South Dakota. South Dakota. The answer we're looking for is Michigan. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Nobody got that one. So that means, Naveen, you still have 95, Nick, you stay at 85, and Jeff stays at 85 as well. Now, guys, it's time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, though, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Now, take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Top Grunge is headed. Now, if you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at the map and think about it. Okay, it looks like everybody's made, made a decision. Uh, I'll tell you what, guys, we're kind of in a bind for this next clue. So we've called in Shelly from Acme Fishnet to try to help us out. Go, Shelly. Lines in the desert? For this, I cut short a vacation? I mean, come on, go draw some new ones. I mean, who's gonna know? Listen, I think I smelled top grunge in the number one tourist town in Texas. It's where Teddy Roosevelt recruited his Rough Riders for the Spanish-American War. I was visiting Shamu, the killer whale, at the largest SeaWorld amusement park in America. I remember when Shamu was, was a nobody. Shows you what a good press agent can do. 
Thanks a lot, Shelly. Okay, guys, name the Texas town. Is it San Antonio, Dallas, or Houston? Remember the clues that we heard? Number one tourist town in Texas. Teddy Roosevelt recruited Rough Riders and largest sea world in America. You got your answers? Lay them down right there in front of you, fellas. Okay, we're going to start with Jeff. You have 85 Acme crime bucks. Jeff, how much did you risk? I risked 30 crime bucks. 30. If you're right, it'll put you in the lead. What'd you say? I said Houston. Houston. Sorry, that's not the answer we're looking for. Nick, you also have 85. How much did you risk? I risked 20 crime bucks. 20. Put I you in the lead. If you're right, what'd you Houston. say? Houston. Oh, you said Houston, too. Okay, so you'll drop 20 points. Naveen, you have 95. First, how much did you risk? I risked. 20 crime bucks. 20. If you're right, you'll stay in the lead, and you and Nick will go into the next round. What'd you say? Houston. Houston. Tough break, guys. The answer we were looking for is San Antonio. So everybody dropped on that one. Naveen has 75. Nick has 65. Jeff has 55. That means Naveen and Nick, you're going on to the next round. Nice job, guys. <laughs> Jeff, listen, man, you were a great detective. You did some great stuff for us today. We've assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief. It's the official Acme Crime Net Travel Kit, and it includes a World Traveler's Atlas, an official Carmen watch, a Carmen sweatshirt, and a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine. And our thanks for all your good work on this case. And Jeff, I salute you. Thanks, Chief. Okay, guys, now it's time for you to go to San Antonio, Texas, where you're going to try to track down Top Grunge and bring back the lines. But I want you to know, we did not send our agents out into the field unprepared. Chief, how about a briefing? Here's the scoop on San Antonio, Texas. Founded on the San Antonio River by Spanish missionaries. Important military outpost. Starting point of the Chisholm Trail, the cattle drive path to Kansas City Railroad Stockyards. Now San Antonio is a prosperous city of around one million. Now the boys down at Photo Recon have put together a few slides. Spanish Governor's Palace, built 1749. The keystone bears the coat of arms of Spain's King Philip V. Now check the original doors and furniture. Make sure Top Grunge hasn't grabbed them. El Mercado in Market Square. The area dates to 1840, filled with local crafts, frequent music, and dance performances. The Alamo. 187 Texas pioneers, including Davy Crockett, valiantly defended this fortress against the Mexican army in 1836. Remember it, but more importantly, search it. Mission San Jose, founded by Franciscan monks, 1720. Best restored of San Antonio's many Spanish missions. Mariachi masses are held noon on Sundays. Watch River Walk cobblestoned pathway along the banks of the San Antonio River. It's the center of downtown life. Restaurants, hotels, galleries, the whole nine yards. Nazareth Lines could be here. Well, that's San Antonio, Texas. Gumshoes, it's time to head out into the field now. Always remember the Acme Triangle of Excellence. Vigilance, dedication, courage. Go get them, Gumshoes! <laughs> Hey guys, come on, come on in here. Come on this way. Bring your stuff in here. Okay, then walk over there. Then, okay, just walk over there. That'll be fine. Let me show you what we have. Here are the possible locations where we might be able to find Top Grunge, the lines, and a warrant for Top Grunge's arrest. The first thing you have to do is find the loot. That's the evidence you need so that you can get the warrant. With the warrant, you can then arrest the crook. Now, connect all three of those things in that order in a single turn, and you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. Catch Carmen San Diego, and you get that trip to anywhere in the lower 48 United States. Now, one more thing. You can pick any one of these locations that you want to, but if you happen upon the loot, the warrant, or the crook, you get a free turn, okay? Now, Naveen, you were ahead at the end of the last round. You go first. I'll take the conservatory. Conservatory. Nothing there. Nick? I'll take the San Antonio Zoo. San Antonio Zoo. Nope, nothing there. Naveen? I'll take the Mexican Art Gallery. Mexican Art Gallery. Nothing there. Nick? I'll take the Governor's Palace. The Governor's Palace. Top Grunge! Okay, you found Top Grunge. Now remember, you have to do it in the right order. Loot, warrant, crook. Use some strategy. Nick, go ahead. Okay, I'll take the Alamo. The Alamo. Nothing there. Naveen? I'll take Hemis Hemisphere Plaza. Hemisphere Plaza. Hemisphere Plaza. Desert Doodle. Nice job. You found the loot. You get a free turn. Go ahead. I'll take River Walk. River Walk. Nope, nothing there. We found the loot, though. Go ahead, Nick. I'll take Hemisphere Plaza. Hemisphere Plaza. Desert Doodle. Go ahead, Nick. 
And then I'll take the Trinity University. Trinity University. The warrant. Whoa, you found the loot, the warrant. You got to find Top Grunge again. And Do it. The Governor's Palace. Is he at the Governor's Palace? Yeah. yeah. Nice job, Nick. Come on over here, Nick. Good job, bud. Okay, you got Top Grunge. All you have to do now is put him in jail, pull on this chain, and do it. Okay, Nick, listen, we're going to talk about your next adventure in just a little bit. But first, Naveen, listen, you were a great detective, man. You tracked Top Grunge all the way to San Antonio, Texas. We got some great stuff for you. Chief. We have a world band radio so that Naveen can listen to broadcasts from all over the world. Nice work, Naveen. Okay, Nick, look, we have a little bit of paperwork for you to do here. Uh, inside, there's a piece of paper and a pen. What I want you to do is write down where you'd like to go if you catch Carmen San Diego and get that trip. Do it. Okay, nice job. Look, you had a good day, right? You got top grunge. You got the lines back. Now, the only thing we have to do is answer the phone. Hold on just one second. Let me get that. See who's there. Yeah, hello. Yeah, he's right here. Hold on. It's for you, Nick. Hello? <coughs> it's a dirty trick, me being at the joint and Carmen on the loose. <coughs> Look for her in the United States. <coughs> oh, okay, Nick. Looks like you and I are going to the United States. Chief? Nick, here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Alaska, California, Idaho, South Dakota, Nebraska, Texas, Missouri, Michigan, Indiana, Georgia, Florida, New York, Connecticut. Greg, take Nick to the map! Okay, Nick, look, pal. This is what it's all about. What you have to do now is track Carmen San Diego through seven different states, identifying each state with a marker. When you're right, you'll hear this sound. But when you're wrong, you'll hear this sound. Now, if you're wrong two times, don't worry about it. Leave the marker where it is. If you're right those seven times in 45 seconds, you will then win that trip to wherever you wrote in that portfolio. Sound good to you? Yeah. Sound good to you guys? Yeah. Okay, Nick, come on, let's do this thing. Cheer them on, you guys. Here we go. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. Good luck, Nick. Here we go. On your mark. Get set, go. Karma went to Bethel, Alaska. You got it, come on. Karma went to Jacksonville, Florida. You got it, come on, come on. Karma went to Austin, Texas. Yeah. Karma went to Springfield, Missouri. Springfield, Missouri. You got it. That's four. Karma went to Macon, Georgia. That's five, bud. Come on. Karma went to Sacramento, California. Come on, Nick. You got it. That's six. Karma went to New Haven, Connecticut. Do it. Do it. Do it. Right. That's it for Nick. Come here, bub. Come down here. All right, let me tell you now, you and a parent are now going to go to Colorado. Oh. Let's get happy. Nice job. You've done okay today, I tell you. You got top grunge. You also got Carmen San Diego. Been doing a lot of work for us. There's one more thing I want you to do, though. You know what it is. Do it, Rockefeller. <laughs> Well, she sneaks around the world from Korea to Carolina. Pinky finger cups up from Berlin down to Belize. Take me for a ride on the long boat to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego? See, there's only South Korea. See if you can guess this one. How can you meet new friends? Have fun and help your public television station? The answer is volunteer during our Summerfest Pledge Drive, August 21st through September 2nd. Give us a call right now at 876-8369. Again, call 876-8369.
immediately. Oh, yeah. Come on, sir. Come on. Hurry. Right this way, sir. Careful over here. Going to the chief's office. Inside the door. Good luck. See ya. Ah, you must be Sharif. Right here, Sharif. All right. Now, I'm always on the lookout for new Acme Crime Net agents, you know. And I think you've got potential, so I'm going to ask you a question first. You ready? Right. All right. Pay attention. When it is 9 a.m. Standard Time in Rochester, Minnesota, what time is it in Rochester, New York? 10 a.m., 11 a.m., or 12 noon? 12 noon. No, Sharif, it's 10 a.m. It's just an hour, but I still think you have potential. Here's your atlas. You brush up on that and come back and be a gumshoe. All right, and remember the Acme Crime Net motto. Criminals, listen and mend your ways. The five-finger discount never pays.